Hey, welcome back to the shop. Guess what I got in the mail today? Oh, I've been looking forward to this. Boom! 360 free machining brass. Plus a piece, tiger maple. Guess what? It's hammer time. Alright, so today we're making a chisel hammer. If you don't know what a chisel hammer is, it's a small hammer that fits roughly in the palm of your hand. So let's uh, draw it out. I want to use some resin on the end of this to give it kind of a decorative look. And what I'm looking for is I almost want to replicate something that looks like the surface of the water. First thing I'll do is I'll, I'll cut this down. I think I'm going to cut it into an octagon shape, sort of like this. Once that's done, I'll be able to go over to the drill press and then I'll use a Faustner bit to drill down to the center, just right on the edge in all directions like this. And then what that'll do is, or at least that's what I hope will happen, is it'll leave this pattern right here so that whenever I pour the resin in and let that cure, and then turn it down the handle, we're left with this nice kind of wave pattern. All right, let's head over to the table saw and get started. It came out pretty good. The handle's three inches. Uh, the head is two and a half inches. It feels really good in the hand. It's more, it's more of the size, I think, that, that really works. I initially planned on making the handle a little bit bigger, but I fought that urge and kept it to slightly smaller than the palm of the hand, which is perfect because it fits exactly so that if you put your finger over the top of the hammer, the actual thick part of the handle is right in the palm of your hand. The blue looks really cool on the uh, rippled maple. For the finish on the handle, all I did was add a little bit of boiled linseed oil. 
That's usually what I do with my tool handles. Because, because of the length and the, the weight of the head, the hammer will stay no matter how you put it, which is really useful if you've ever had an issue with things rolling off your bench. No matter how you set it down, it's going to stay where you leave it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Also, next time on Plan, Build, Use, I'm making an epic Viking shield for a buddy. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss it. Until next time, thanks for stopping in. I'll catch you later.